Hi friends! Today will be the third, final part of the video with the build process of automotive charger for car batteries. Those who haven't seen the first two parts now can click to the annotations. Links also are in the description. Also, there are full archive schemes and links to buy cheap but rather quite good chargers. How works the stabilizer? We have studied in the second part. Now let's speak about the power supply. Here use the simple scheme, which can be seen in the power supplies for office halogen lamps. It's an ordinary electronic transformer. It represents the half-bridge oscillator circuit with start-through dynister. In this case, the main transformer is wound on the ring core. The primary winding consists of 90 turns of 0.55 mm wire. Winding data are taken from the 150 watts electronic transformer. The winding is insulated with fluoroplastic tape. The secondary winding has a midpoint. Shoulders are identical. Wire diameter is 1 mm. The number of turns is 18. Recitifier is full wave with the middle point. Here is used a dual 20 amperes Schottky diode. Diode's reverse voltage must be no less than 40 volts. At the diode recitifier output is added throttle. This has been done for the reason that the circuit was overloaded because of the electrolytic capacitor at the output. A throttle partly works as a filter, but it is mainly to reduce the capacitor charging current during operation. Roughly to say, it is something the kind of passive corrector of a power factor. Core I took from computer power supply. It was throttle of group stabilization. New winding has 24 turns of 1 mm wire. Here is feedback transformer, just a small ring. It consists of three separate windings, two of which are basic. Third is current feedback winding. Wire is 0.6 mm. The basics has three turns each and a feedback, one incomplete turn. Since many of our viewers have problems with winding of such transformer, it was decided to show everything clearly. I hope no longer will be problems with the connection. Transformer wound on a ferret ring. Sizes are currently on the screen. These rings can be found on the ballast boards of non-working energy-saving lamps. Half-bridge capacitors must be suitable at least for 250 volts. I advise you to take power transistors of the MJE series. You can use MJE 13007-13009. These are installed in blocks of computer power supply. After final assembly, the transistors are set on the radiator through the heat conductive and insulating gaskets in order to avoid short circuit. As a rule, such schemes don't run without load, so we need to load the output with a small lamp or change the scheme as follows. Such modifications will enable the unit to run at no load. This will also serve as a protection against short time short circuit, because the scheme doesn't have any protection and transistors will instantly explode. Try to escape short-circuit the output in any case. Many parts of this project are bought from online stores and using the browser extension of AliTools you can find the most profitable product at the best price. You can also study dynamics of price changes for this product and quickly assess the seller's rating. AliTools, your reliable assistant. The link is in the description under the video. Stabilizer circuit itself is a light load, so the bloke in 80% of cases will run. The additional loads are LEDs installed for backlight of the ammeter. With these components, taking into account the transformer power, the circuit can develop a power of 150 watts. A few words about the box. It's a whole aluminium, easy to find at AliExpress shops. Links will be in the description. Since this source is only for charging car batteries, a resistor which is responsible for adjusting the output voltage was selected for value from 14.12 to 14.5 volts. Then it was hidden away in the depths of the box. But the current regulator was placed on the front panel, which is made of plastic. Unit worked to final assembly about an hour. It became clear that the main inductor and transformer weren't overheated, so the forced cooling in the finished module isn't used. I used here self-made ammeter. How it was done I will tell you in the other video. It remains only to check the operation with a car battery.
You can see that the charging is start, the current is regulated, and in general, everything is normal. During the charging, current gradually will drop to zero. And if you want to add the automatic charging cutoff system, now, by clicking on the annotation, you can go to video about the auto turn off system. All necessary links you can find in the description below the video. Thanks for watching.